We know that we need to add audio files so that we can provide streaming audio for the track that we just listed in the system. So we are here at the central page for that particular album and we're going to select audio files. You can see the track that we entered in is listed here. The fact that it needs an MP3 is also indicated. So we're going to choose that MP3 file. And to do that, I need to go into my music. And there it is. We do need to make sure it is an MP3 file as opposed to another type of audio file. Once you've selected upload, it may take a few moments to enter into the system. Try not to navigate away from the screen during that time as you don't want to create any sort of error in the system. Once you've uploaded into the system, you have the option to set the streaming audio to online, which I want to do. And in order to, once you've selected yes, if you want to verify that it is streaming, go to streaming you'll see that the track has been marked for full streaming. There is a column in the center called sample only, but that is not indicated for mobile devices. That's for anyone who goes to your Instant Encore profile might have the ability to do a sample of a track, but for mobile devices, people really don't want samples. They want full tracks. So you can select full streaming or no streaming for any track listed in one of your albums. Select save. Now I want to connect this album to the online store where someone can purchase it. So there are a number of options for this particular CD. It's available on iTunes, it's available on Amazon, so I'm going to want to share those links with my mobile subscribers. So under pricing, well one you can see there is a pricing chart here. If you have your own original work and you do not have any sort of distribution contract that prohibits you from selling it online at your own price, then you can use Instant Encore system to sell downloads of your work and you can set your pricing here and indicate whether you want the entire album for sale or if you want an individual track for sale. Now if you do have a distribution contract or if you are working with an artist who has purchase links in online stores, then you would select buy links and select the link. So for example, we're going to do Amazon and iTunes. So we'll get the link for Amazon, copy that and paste it into the URL field. And then we're going to get the link for iTunes. We're going to copy that and select the source as iTunes and enter in the link URL. And now we have uh, both online storefront options associated with this particular streaming track and album. Next we can look in if there's a sponsor for a particular album then or for the recorded work you can enter in the sponsor's name and website. If the music track that you have uploaded was recorded live during an event in your system then you can go and find the particular event in your events listing either by date or by event ID and associate it directly with this album.
The stats area shows you how many downloads there have been of a particular track or how many streams have been launched of a particular track and if you are using the instant outcore system for sales it indicates how much revenue has been earned. So download code campaigns are an easy way to share your music with your fans and what you do is you can create a download code campaign so for example if I want the Download codes are an easy way to share your music with your fans. Um, and if you have your own rights and you own the rights to the work, then, or if you, 